In the final game, you guys get to kind of go out on the snow, you know, before the end bowl, or before the bowl game, obviously. Well, this game had a season's worth of excitement in it, and I mean, uh, positive and negative, and uh, uh, some uh, some wounds self-inflicted, and uh, you know, some uh, great blows to the other side uh, by our hand too. It was a wild game, and it was a very up and down game, and. Uh, <clears throat> about the time you thought it couldn't get crazier, it did, you know, so yeah, it was a good game. Uh, I think any time uh, <coughs> uh, you got all the emotions of the teams in it and then uh, the stands, you know, have a special level of emotions. I don't know, is there some karma that exists with that that makes things erratic? I've always wondered because, um, you know, historically you see elements of that, uh, not just this game, but... But it was, a, it was a good wild game, and um, and uh, uh, both sides let uh, let the other side think it was theirs, and then snatched it away a couple of times, and then uh, we won. So it was a good deal. Yeah. Uh, I guess kind of follow up with that. You know that that last play there. What did you see on that two point conversion? What what do you think Randy saw on it to, to be able to break it up like that? <clears throat> well, I just think he's a big, strong guy, and. Uh, lives in kind of a world of destruction and uh you know the biggest thing on a play like that you want to get upfield but <clears throat> if you get too far upfield you'll overrun it and um uh, <coughs> i try to run plays like that against them all the time uh, they usually don't work um part of it is because we line move some and so whether we see it right away i mean we're in position that you know hey there's something there and so then they pounce on it uh, the other thing is, you know, he's a big, strong guy that's good at uh, controlling uh, O-linemen, even uh, the best of guys. Roddy? Coach, two running backs, uh, I think, average nearly six yards a carry, same way the second half. You saw something there kind of breaking down on the defensive line. What, how did you feel like the running game built your offense in the second half? <clears throat> well, I thought we picked away. I thought we should have gotten more the first half than we did. Um, <clears throat> definitely should have got more than we did. So then it became erratic. So we had some explosives in the run game that were good. Uh, I actually felt like he scored that uh, last touchdown. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> I'd like to kind of shore it up, but I, I, I thought we hit it hard and I thought our uh, line <coughs> uh, stuck in there uh, during some, some tough situations. Which I never cough. You guys know that. I never cough. But that locker room looks like it's on fire. Right now. It looks like a damn dumpster fire, you know, like, uh, um, so, uh, um, no, oh, anyway, the rest of whatever you said. All right, go ahead. Joel. Uh, can you speak to your defense? And uh, I mean, I had a big fourth and two stop. Of course, Randy there at the end wins, wins the game. But just all night long, the defense was here. Guys, so just speak to their efforts for that. I think I think really a strong effort by our defense. Um, incredible effort by our defense. I thought we were physical on both sides of the ball. Um, I thought we were in pretty good uh, physical shape as <clears throat> offense and defense as far as responding throughout the game. Uh, defensively, some really key stops, some really key plays, key stops uh, defensively that I thought was huge. I thought we let them, um, you know, I mean, you can always be critical, and that's kind of the point is uh, how, how can you get better, but 